I'm gonna teach you how to play Snake Eyes Fire King. I'm gonna show you how to play it optimally right now. You're gonna learn one card combos, two card combos, and three card combos. Welcome team, I'm glad you're here. Get comfortable, grab a drink, because we need to ask ourselves, why do we play Snake Eyes and Fire King? There are two reasons we do that. Number one is to increase consistency. Snake Eyes lets you one card combo get your whole entire Fire King engine going. Number two, that same one card combo I just mentioned also happens to swarm the field like crazy. This does seem to be the most competitive version of Fire Kings at the moment. I do think the deck can be just as fun and consistent if you play Fire Kings pure. However, the boost that you get from playing Snake Eyes really brings the power to a whole nother level. I'm going to show you step by step how to do each and every combo with Snake Eyes. Now to play the Snake Eyes variation, you have to play 3 Bonfire, 3 Snake Eyes Excel, 1 Snake Eyes Populous, and 2 Original Sinful Spoil Spell Card. Keep watching and you're going to see exactly why. Now let's review the Snake Eyes cards that we're using. Let's take a look at these cards. Snake Eyes Excel is a level 1 pyro, and you play him because on normal or special summon, you can add any Snake Eyes monster from your deck to hand. You always want to open either Excel or Bonfire to search Excel to get your Snake Eyes combo going. There are a couple other ways like you're about to see in the combos, but mainly this is how you start your Snake Eyes combo. Snake Eyes Populous is another level 1 pyro. This is what you're normally adding with the Excel. When added from deck to hand by card effect, doesn't have to be Excel, could also be Bonfire. It special summons itself from hand, then adds you any sinful spoil spell. This card is kind of like a Garnet, so you only want to run it at 1. I guess in theory you could run it at 2, but I think 1 is more than enough. Also very relevant to the combo if you use it as link material, it can place any monster from your graveyard in your spell and trap zone as a face up continuous spell. This is very important because as you're going to see the spell that we're adding needs to send a face up card as cost. So this basically lets you activate the sinful spoil spell that you're adding to your hand for free. Speaking of that spell, Original Sinful Spoils lets you send any face-up card from the field to the graveyard in order to special summon a level 1 fire monster from your deck. 99% of the time you're using this to send a face-up card from the field to graveyard in order to special summon Fire King Ponyx from deck. Fire King Ponyx is your Fire King starter and it can get you any Fire King card. It is your best searcher and it is actually the main reason you're playing Snake Eyes. Now quickly before we get into the combo, I do want to mention that there's more Snake Eyes cards you can play. For example, I did base this decklist off the one that won a huge YCS in Japan, but I did make some changes. That decklist played more Snake Eyes cards, which you definitely can do. But in my honest opinion, if you're going to do that, then you might as well just play Snake Eyes. You need to ask yourself, do you want to play Fire King with a Snake Eyes engine? Or are you trying to play a Snake Eyes deck with a Fire King engine? If that's the case, then add more Snake Eyes. But what I really like about this is that we're only playing the Snake Eyes cards that can get you into the Fire King plays. Now let's get into the Snake Eyes Fire King combo guide. Don't forget to like and subscribe everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like these videos. Now let's learn how to Snake Eyes Fire King combo. Alright guys, so our first combo starts with either Bonfire or Excel. We activate the Bonfire searching Snake Eyes Excel. Now we normal summon Snake Eyes Excel, searching the Snake Eyes Populous. Populous, when added to hand by any card effect, can special summon itself. When normal or special summon, Populous can add any Sinful Spoil spell card to hand. We're going to be adding our original Sinful Spoil since that card can get us our Ponyx. Before that though, we're going to link off our two Snake Eyes monsters into a Salaman Great Sunlight Wolf. On Link Summon, Populous is going to trigger in the graveyard to place one of our Snake Eyes monsters back in the Spell and Trap zone. Doesn't matter which one, we're going to place the Excel here. We're going to send it back to Grave right away with the original Sinful Spoils. Send the Excel to Grave. Now this allows us to special summon the Ponyx from deck. Make sure you summon it to the zone that Sunlight Wolf points to. That way you can chain block Ponyx because Ponyx will activate Chain Link 1 to search and Sunlight Wolf is going to activate on Chainlink 2 to add back any fire monster from grave to hand. Now you can add back any of your Snake Eyes monsters, it doesn't matter which one, and Ponyx will get you the Sanctuary of the Fire Kings. Now you're going to link off the Ponyx and the Sunlight Wolf into the Promethean Princess, activate Fire King Sanctuary placing the Fire King Island in the field zone. Now you activate Fire King Island to destroy a fire monster in hand. We're going to destroy the Snake Eyes Excel we just added from Grave to our hand to search any Fire King monster. We're going to add Sacred Garunix. Now since we destroyed a fire monster, Sacred Garunix is going to special summon itself to field. On special summon, Sacred Garunix can destroy any fire monster from our deck. In this combo, which is your mainline combo, you destroy the Fire King Arvada. 
Arvada, when destroyed, triggers in the graveyard to special summon one of your Fire Kings back. In this variation, you special summon your Ponix back. Now you trigger your Promethean Princess to special summon the Arvada from Grave. Arvada is a monster negate in case you didn't know, so now you have a negate on board. Now you link off the Ponix and the Promethean Princess into the Link 4 Ambro Whale. Ambro Whale is actually very important to our combo. When destroyed, you can summon a Link Monster from your graveyard. And while in the graveyard, if another Link Monster on the field is destroyed, you can banish it from grave to pop a card. What you accomplish with this combo is the Arvada Negate, setting up the Promethean Princess in Grave, which can special summon itself by popping one of your cards and one of your opponent's cards, setting up the Link 4 Amber Whale, which is going to provide you Recursion and another layer of Destruction. On top of that, you have the Fire King Sanctuary and the Sacred Garunix. So if you actually let this play out, you'll be able to special summon the Xyz Fire King Monster, which on summon can wipe the entire field. This is not even mentioning Sacred Garunix destroying Kirin to get you another pop. Most likely your opponent is going to underestimate this board because they don't realize you have like 5 layers of disruption. All off of a bonfire or a snake eyes excel, that's all you need. We started with 1 card, we finished with 5 plus 5 disruptions. Alright, this is our second 1 card combo. It also starts off with either bonfire or snake eyes excel. However, the only difference between this combo and our mainline combo is that we destroy the barong off of the sacred garunix instead of the arvada. We're going to activate the bonfire. Normal summon Snake Eyes Excel, add Snake Eyes Populous to hand, Snake Eyes Populous triggers when added to hand to special summon itself, on summon Snake Eyes Populous is going to add the original Sinful Spoils, we're going to go ahead and link into the Salaman Great Sunlight Wolf, Populous triggers engraved to place a Snake Eyes monster in the spell and trap zone, we're going to go ahead and once again send it to the grave with the Sinful Spoils, Ponix is going to add our Fire King Sanctuary, Salaman Great triggers to add back a fire to our hand. Activate Fire King Sanctuary, place the Fire King Island in the field zone. Now we link off into our Promethean Princess. Up until now, it's very standard. It's pretty much the same thing we did last time. We add the Sacred Grunix, trigger the Sacred Grunix to summon. On summon, it can destroy any fire from death. However, this time, instead of destroying the Arvada, we're going to destroy the Baron. This may seem like a very small difference. However, the end result is quite different. Promethean Princess now is going to revive the Sunlight Wolf to the zone that points to the other Link zone. That way if our opponent Link summons we get to add back a fire. We link off the Garunix and the Promethean Princess into the Link 4 Amber Whale. And here we end our turn. I'm actually going to let this one play out a little so you can see the difference between what happens when you destroy Barong and you destroy Arvada. Barong is going to trigger during our opponent's standby phase to add the cure into our hand. Now we have a quick effect pop a fire monster. This can trigger our sacred Grunix and grave and it can trigger some of our other monsters like the amber whale. I'm going to show you here for example you can destroy the amber whale, special summon the Kirin, trigger the Garunix and grave to special summon itself as well. This gives you two level 8s on board so if your opponent special summons you can quick Xyz into the rank 8 which destroys all monsters on the field. In addition to that now we have the amber whale in the graveyard so if a link monster is destroyed we can banish it to pop a card. Garunix will destroy a Kirin from deck which will activate to special summon a Ponix back. Ponix gets us a search, so we're going to search the quick play spell for follow up destruction. Now we're just going to wait until our opponent special summons any monster so I can show you some of this disruption. He special summons Populous, which triggers Promethean Princess and Grave. So we get to pop the Populous. And on top of that, he triggered our Sanctuary, so we get a board wipe as well. This is what you get by going into the Barong variation. Alright, so what happens if you draw your Garnet? I mentioned earlier that you want to add Populous to hand by a card effect, you don't want to actually hard draw it. So what happens if you actually open it? Keep watching because you're about to see that there is a 1 card combo with Populous as well. You normal summon Populous, activate Populous to search you the original Sinful Spoil spell card. Now you're going to link away the Populous into a Salaman Great Almirage. Populous triggers engraved to place itself back in the spell and trap zone. Now we can use our Sinful Spoils to send it back to the graveyard to special summon our Ponix from death. Ponix on summon is going to get us a search. Here we're going to search the Fire King Sanctuary. Activate Fire King Sanctuary, place the field spell face up. Now we activate our field spell Fire King Island, destroying the Ponix, adding the Sacred Garunix. Sacred Garunix here is going to trigger to summon itself. Then on summon it's going to trigger to destroy a fire monster from death. We're going to destroy the Arvada. It is worth mentioning here that if you want to end on a spell and trap negate instead of a monster negate, then at this point you would destroy the Hanulan instead of the Arvada. 
Arvada is going to trigger, summoning back our Ponyx. Now we link the Ponyx, the Almirage, and the Garunix into our Link 3 Promethean Princess. Promethean Princess is going to get reviving. We're going to revive back our Arvada. And now we end our turn. We were able to turn our one Ponyx into a monster negate and a potential pop. Because as soon as Arvada negates a monster, you destroy the Promethean Princess and then Garunix comes back. And when Garunix comes back, it's going to destroy a Kirin from deck, which lets you revive the Ponyx and gives you a pop. This isn't the combo that you really want to go for, but it does come up sometimes that you draw your Garnet, so you need to know what to do in those cases. Now let's get into some of the two card combos this deck can do. You can enter this line by opening Bonfire or Excel plus Ponyx or Garunix. It starts off very similar, you add the Excel with the Bonfire, you normal summon the Excel. Excel gets us Populous, Populous Special Summons. Populous is going to add us the spell to hand, we're going to link off for the Salaman Great Sunlight Wolf once again. This combo starts off very similar, however you're going to see the Ponyx in hand does make a big difference with our end board. Special Summon the Ponyx, get a Surge, Sunlight Wolf is going to add back a Fire to hand. Now we're going to activate the Fire King Sanctuary, placing the Field Spell face up once again. We link off into the Link 3 Promethean Princess, activate Fire King Island, destroy the Snake Eyes we just added back to search the Garunix. Now Garunix is going to Special Summon. Garunix on Special Summon will destroy the Arvada. Arvada will revive a Ponyx, but now since we have a Ponyx in hand as well, the Ponyx in hand, when any fire monster is destroyed, you can special summon it from hand. What this means is that now you're going to get an extra monster on board than you used to have in the one card combos. This extra monster is going to make a difference. After we revive the Arvada, we link into the Link 4 Amber Whale. And now since we have an extra Ponyx on board, we link the extra Ponyx plus the Garunix into an SP Little Knight. This board ends on Arvada Negate, Amber Whale Pop, Promethean Princess Pop, Garunix Destroy Kirin Pop, plus SP Little Knight Banish. This is actually super difficult for your opponent to deal with. They have to really know how your deck works inside and out to counter this. And like I said, you don't need to open Ponyx plus Bonfire for this, you could also open Garunix instead of Ponyx. Now let's take a look at what happens if you open Ponyx plus the Sinful Spoils spell. Normally you want to search the spell, you don't want to open it, but there is a line you can enter if you do. And it's very important that you do know it because it does start a little differently than the previous combos. In this variation, you start off by normal summoning the Ponyx. Ponyx adds the Fire King Sanctuary and then you immediately activate the Sanctuary. Sanctuary places the Field Spell in the Field Zone. Now since you have a Face Up Continuous Spell, you can activate the Sinful Spoils to send it to the Graveyard. Now you summon the Excel from Death. Excel on Summon is going to fetch you the Populous. Populous one added Special Summons itself and then it's going to add you another Sinful Spoils spell. We're going to link off the two Snake Eyes for a Sunlight Wolf. Populous places itself face up in the Spell and Trap Zone. Now Fire King Island is going to destroy the Ponyx here adding the Sacred Garunix. Sacred Garunix is going to trigger the Special Summon. Now Sacred Garunix is going to destroy any fire from deck and Sunlight Wolf is going to add back a fire to hand. We're going to destroy the Arvada. Now something I didn't mention in all these combos that I've shown you, if you're going second at this point, you may want to destroy the Kirin because Kirin kind of does the same thing as Arvada. It revives a card, but the difference is on resolution, it destroys an opponent's card. So it's better to destroy Kirin instead of Arvada at this point in your combo whenever you're going second. Just keep that in mind. Now Arvada triggers, we're going to special summon back the Ponyx from Grave. We link the Ponyx and the Sunlight Wolf into Promethean Princess. Promethean Princess is going to revive our Arvada. And finally, we link the Sacred Garunix and the Promethean Princess into Amber Whale. As you just saw, even though you don't want to open the spell, even if you do, there is a way to end on a negate in two pops if you do this combo. Alright, so let's look at a couple three card combos that you may open. In this line, you open Bonfire or Excel plus Ponyx plus Tenny. We're going to start off by activating the Tenny. You're going to use the Tenyi here to add either the Hanuman or the Arvada, depending on if you would prefer a Monster Negate or a Spell and Trap Negate. Afterwards, we're going to Normal Summon the Excel and start our Snake Eyes combo. Excel add the Populous, Populous Special Summon, you're probably used to this by now. We're going to link off the two Snake Eyes into Salaman Great Sunlight Wolf. Populous triggers to place a Snake Eyes in the Spell and Trap Zone. Now we are going to activate the Sinful Spoils, sending a face-up card to Grave to special summon the Ponyx from Death. Ponyx on summon is going to add any Fire King spell or trap, and Sunlight Wolf is going to recycle one of our fire monsters. 
We're going to activate the Fire King Sanctuary, getting us the Field Spell. The Field Spell here is going to destroy the Snake Eyes that you added back. So that's very important. Now you're going to add the Sacred Garunix. Activate the Sacred Garunix to Special Summon itself. Now Sacred Garunix can destroy any fire from deck, but instead of destroying the Arvada like we did last time, we're going to destroy the Kirin this time. The reason is Kirin can actually summon from hand when destroyed, not just the Grave. So we're actually going to use this effect to summon the Hanuman from hand. In addition, our Ponix triggers in hand to Special Summon itself as well, so we essentially just summoned our whole hand. Now you link off the Ponix into Promethean Princess. Promethean Princess can revive any fire here. We're going to revive the Sunlight Wolf, and then we're going to immediately use it to link into the Amber Whale. Then link away your remaining two Fire King monsters into the SP Little Knight. Your final end board is a Spell and Trap Negate, SP Little Knight Banish, plus you have like three pops in Graveyard with the Promethean Princess, the Amber Whale, and the Sacred Garunix. Even though this is a three card combo, I found myself going into this line a lot. So now we're going to examine an interesting hand. I say interesting because in this hand you open Excel and Populous, which you usually don't want to do. I guess you could technically consider this a bad hand if this combo didn't exist. Just pay attention and replay this if you have to. There's a very specific way you have to play this position. In order to end on a good end board, you have to have another face-up card in addition to the Excel and the Populous. It could be a Tenny, it could be a Sanctuary, it could be a Fire King Island. Keep watching, you're going to see exactly why. So in this line, we're going to start off first by activating the Fire King Sanctuary. Fire King Sanctuary gets us our field spell. Now we normal summon the Snake Eyes Excel. Normally Excel will be adding the Populous, but we don't have Populous here, so we're going to actually add the Fire King Onyx. Now this is very important, Excel has a secret second effect. Excel can send itself plus any other face-up card from the field to the graveyard to special summon a Snake Eyes from hand. This is how you're going to unbrick yourself and get the Populous out of your hand onto the field. Excel sends itself plus the Sanctuary to graveyard, now we special summon the Snake Eyes Populous. Populous on summon now can add us our Sinful Spoil spell. Now what you're going to do is you're going to link away the Snake Eyes Populous for a Link Karibo. You're doing this so you can trigger your Populous to place a Snake Eyes in the Spell and Trap Zone. Now you activate your original Sinful Spoils to send the Snake Eyes that you just placed in your Spell and Trap Zone in order to special summon Ponix from deck. Ponix now gets you a search, but since we already have the Field Spell, we're going to add our Quick Play spell, the Fire King Sacred Emolition. Emolition can destroy any number of Fire King monsters you control in order to destroy the same number of cards your opponent controls. Now we're going to activate Fire King Island to destroy the Ponix in hand to add a Garunix. Garunix is going to trigger, special summon, and then destroy a card from the deck. We're going to destroy an Arvada. Arvada is going to revive the Ponix we just destroyed. Now we link away the two Ponix and the Link Karibo into a Promethean Princess. Promethean Princess now can revive the Arvada, so now we have a Monster Negate. Now finally we link away the Promethean Princess and the Sacred Garunix into the Link 4 Amber Whale. Now you set your Quick Play spell. The final result is Arvada Negate, Promethean Princess pop, Quick Play spell can pop also, Amber Whale can pop from Graveyard, Garunix can revive itself when a card is popped to pop a Kirin which can also pop an opponent's card. We just turned a bad hand into 5 disruptions. I'm showing you these types of hands so you can know exactly what to do in these types of situations. Alright team, I'm glad you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna leave a link to the Fire King decklist that won the tournament in Japan in the description. I'm also gonna leave a link to my full Fire King in-depth review where I go into more detail about the new Fire King cards and also how to play the pure build. I also have a lot of replays of this deck destroying meta decks. I was thinking about posting them. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Like the video and comment because that lets me know if you find this video useful. Subscribe to the channel as well. I'm working on more decklist videos. Let me know by the way if there's any combos that I missed. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.